Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Hello Goddess and this is another pick a card video which is going to be all about how is your future spouse going to treat you and um, what is going to be their love language. So this pile is going to be centered all around that and all of the messages that I'm going to be receiving from my guides regarding this topic and around it are going to be in this video and it's going to be a long one. So we've got three options again. The very first option is material and spiritual prosperity on the very left. The second option is prosperity begins in the middle and lastly we've got destiny on the very right. So the timestamp are going to be given in the description box below as usual um you can definitely choose more than one option if you wish to however choose only the ones that are really truly calling out to you the most and um with that being said let's move on to the first option material and spiritual prosperity okay so if you're chosen the option number one these are the cards i have for you i have the world card then we have nine of wands the queen of pentacles nine of cups eight of wands the empress five of pentacles four of swords ace of pentacles i think i already said that i don't know um and lastly we've got the three of pentacles for you guys so um those are the cards for the signs i'm sensing somebody could have their sun sign and an earth sign that would be taurus virgo and capricorn and then we also have gemini we also have cancer and libra um yeah that's kind of what i'm sensing for the signs now let's see what do we have for the messages in regards to how is your future spouse going to treat you and what's going to be their love language so i'm going to be delivering messages in regards to this topic and everything else around it so let's see what do we get from our guide um, right off the bat, I'm sensing there's something about your person being very stable. So they're going to provide you with that security. But also at the same time, as much as this connection feels stable and secure, there's also this feeling of always celebrating something. I don't know, this person just kind of feels like they live life quite... Um, like this person is predictable, but also kind of not at the same time. And I... Do want to call this person spontaneous um but it's kind of like this person will make your married life or should i say this person will make your life quite fun like that's how this person is and um this person is the kind of a person who would not want to do anything alone if they are in a relationship with someone they always want to assist that person in everything that they're doing and they would want you to be a part of everything that they do as well so it's kind of like they always love um your presence and they always would want your um want you to be there with them if they are doing something if they are engaging in some sort of like a hobby um especially in times of enjoyment i feel like this person would want you to be a part of that time that's kind of what i'm sensing um i also feel like this person loves to travel a lot and they would probably they are the kind of a person who would probably um who probably has traveled solo for a very long time um or maybe they do prefer that but with you, it's going to be different. They probably would never, ever do that again. Um, yeah, it's kind of like this person would want to do everything with you. That's kind of what I'm sensing right off the bat. And let's see what else is here. And, you know, this is just one way of saying it. But another thing that I'm sensing is that you're never going to feel, feel alone. Or, you know, those moments, if you've ever been in a relationship and if you feel like sometimes we kind of lose touch and um, the relationship, you know, our priorities become our work or our, I don't know, our friends. And the relationship kind of gets the backseat. And that those are the times when you kind of, do start to feel a bit lonely because you do not connect with everyone around you and you start to feel that are you even in a relationship so that's never going to be a problem in this sort of connection because this person is always going to make sure that you are a part of everything that they do everything they would make it a point and they would want to be a part of everything that you do as well they would absolutely love that um so there is equal balance in your connection. I can see that too. There's something very significant about the number four. 
Although there are lots of synchronicities, I would not be surprised if you encounter messages through your dreams, like countless messages. Um, if you hear songs or if you encounter a particular insect or an animal, I would not be surprised because I feel like your connection is quite um, out of this world. We have the world card right there, but then we have the nine of cups as well. And this connection is quite stable. But also at the same time, if I have to be honest, let's go a bit, um, I don't know, um, maybe a lot of people don't believe in past lives and stuff, but I'm going to talk about something which maybe not everybody would resonate with or like a lot of people probably are a bit skeptical, but never mind. I'm kind of sensing that you both, um, because here's the thing, I have to give you a little bit of backdrop. Before coming on this planet, we make a contract um, about everything, and especially the person that we're going to spend our life with. I kind of got that um, you have been trying to connect with this person for multiple lifetimes, but you've not been able to, and this is the one where you're going to finally connect with this person you're finally going to meet or should i say all the times that you have tried to connect with this person even if you did meet up with this person in like a past life um previous life i feel like it never really worked out and there were some some obstacles some hurdles and it always led to um breakage and um yeah it just simply did not progress anywhere i feel like this time it's going to be different. Um, this time, the time is right. The situation is going to be right. And the person, obviously, is right. And everything's going to work in your favor, finally. And you both have been trying to connect for a long time. I can see that. Again, do not expect deja vu to happen or anything like that. That might happen for some of you. But I feel like you do not really... You haven't really spent any time with this person, although you've been wanting to connect with this person. So your connection is quite strong. I would personally not label at, label uh, this connection as like a soulmate connection or a twin plane connection or anything like that. But if I be very honest, I have got the highest. Um, I would say it's like um, the most like highest form of connection in the entire tarot and that's the lovers and i've got it off camera so i got it for you guys certainly your connection is something which is a bit indescribable truly out of this world and i can feel it the vibes are unreal and we can call it a soulmate connection like a higher soulmate connection or a twin flame connection even but I don't really want to do that. I don't know for some reason. But yeah. And this is kind of not about this topic. I mean it kind of does tie up together. But another message that I'm hearing is. It's not that this person is going to make you a part of every single thing about their life. That's that's obviously a given. But also at the same time. When this person is going to enter your life. This person is going to be like. A light in your life you know there are a lot of people who enter our lives and they give us different different sorts of experiences and then they we learn lessons and whenever people say we learn lessons then the only thing that comes off the top of our heads is that we suffered with that person or that person gave us some sort of like a like some sort of hurt or like suffering with this person this person is going to serve as like a ray of sunshine, you can call it, you can call it a ball of light, whatever you want to call it. But this person is going to be the light in our life. Every single time you get lost, when you do come back to this person or when you are with this person, you can feel at peace and this person will always be there with you. I think that's the most beautiful part about all of this. But it's and also at the same time, I'm hearing the word freedom, that this person is going to provide you that freedom as well. And this person is going to let you do your own thing, your own way. But also at the same time, you're never going to be feeling alone. And I don't know why this is so beautiful, this connection. Um, I kind of wish this was my pile. Um, but honestly speaking, this person is going to make you feel so 
like saying that they're going to make you feel secure is also kind of an understatement because when you're going to be with this person and they're going to be there present with you in times of like in hard times and difficult times you're going to feel strong you're going to feel so empowered that you're going to be able to get through this you know those times when we're so weak like we know that it's so not possible for us to get through this and that's not going to happen with this person because um when this person's going going to be by your side is they're just going to make sure everything goes okay and somehow this person's presence and this person's guidance even seems very mature i'm going to be honest somebody quite mature somebody quite good with words i have not even gone to the next set of cards i'm just looking at like two cards and all of these messages i'm just getting from these two cards your connection is so um this is just magical honestly and i'm not even looking at your person right now okay moving on let's see what else do we get okay I feel like uh, one thing I do want to say is your person is very good at um like very good with words and they're really good with if this person would want to manipulate someone they would do it effortlessly they would do it flawlessly um yeah they would but this person honestly would avoid any sort of mind games any manipulation of any kind like they would manipulate all of this stuff sorry they would eliminate all of this manipulation stuff because um this person just does not want that in their life with you especially and one thing i do want to say is your person you should take this line away from this whole reading if you have to take one your person will never ever do anything like they would never do anything which is going to even create a slight possibility of having distance between you and this person so if there is something that they can do or they they will do and that might create distance that might create space and like misunderstanding between you and this person that's the last thing this person is going to choose to do and they're going to um like stay clear of that completely so that's again a very beautiful thing um yeah everything so far is going positive um let's see what else is here um okay so now if we talk about the times when you might have a conflict with this person or there is like a situation where you both disagree on I would say that this person is a bit stubborn and if they think something is right or the best part about this person is that even in a conflict this person might be a bit harsh with their words but this person is never going to be manipulative this person is never going to be um disrespectful you both might disagree on things but um that's not going to make this person manipulate you or use mind games i feel like that's not this is not going to exist in your connection that's kind of what i'm sensing i'm also sensing that this person is um not afraid to show affection in public um that's kind of what i'm sensing this is not an overly shy person i feel like this person is quite confident um i think i already said that this person could have a fire sign somewhere prominently placed but this person is going to get the confidence of a fire sign i'm kind of sensing that and um there is something about this person and the way they're going to carry themselves in public around people and how they're going to behave with you in, in front of other people that's quite like adorable in a way and that's quite um like it's going to make people curious about your connection with this person um 
they are not going to do that to induce something in other people's minds but they're just going to behave like themselves and this person is as i said they're not shy they're quite open and they're quite confident and bold as well i'm i'm not getting so much open this person is not the kind of a person who would discuss um like their relationship Informa- like i don't know just stuff about their relationship with other people this is not that kind of a person they would probably keep it very intimate and close just with you but also at the same time this person is quite bold and they're quite confident and they have this strong presence in front of people with you they are going to kind of lose that identity and but with the other people it's going to be like those people perceive this person in a different light um yeah I'm also sensing for a lot of you that this person if they have had past relationships they've never really been serious or like they've never really been in love with someone um they might have had a fling they might have had a casual relationship or like I don't know they might have been attracted to somebody but they have not been in love they've not been serious that's kind of what I heard and I don't want to change my words um they have not been so into someone and they're going to experience this for the very first time this is the first time this person is going to experience something like this and this is going to change this person completely the way they are with other people the way they are or have been it's all going to transform it's all going to change when you're going to come in there's something about your presence it just makes this person into something else and in a good way i feel like it's a good kind of change yeah all this like i'm hearing um in this person's words like they're saying to someone i'm hearing this conversation all my life i've been putting myself first but since the time so and so came into my life so you know it's kind of like that i kind of see this person having a conversation with someone and i'm hearing it in their words that all of their life they've been putting themselves first and they've had themselves as their priority but since you're going to walk in since the time you're going to become the priority now for some of you if you're trying to manifest a twin flame sort of connection um you're going going to be able to do that um because i see that for some of you that twin flame connection also i was not wanting to label it but i'm hearing it so i have to say it it's going to be there for some of you and there's a huge possibility that some of you might be manifesting or might be might end up meeting up with your twin flame um another thing i'm sensing is that this person is going to be more joyful more um i don't know there's something about this person just being very happy and really enjoying since the time you will walk into this person's life and you both will be together I'm also hearing for some of you that somebody's going to meet up with a psychic and that psychic is going to tell you about this particular person um your future spouse they're going to reveal some information um although it's going to be hidden but you will get to know something another thing I'm sensing over here is somebody is going to be I feel like both of you are going to be intuitive or wherever you're going to be in your spiritual journey I feel like you both will connect really well and the way i say this is because um you both would be able to understand a lot of things without saying and that rarely happens like often times when people are trying to explain themselves other people cannot even understand them even if we try like even if the person is trying their best to explain with words still the people listening to them cannot understand what this person is trying to mean so I feel like this person would be able to understand a lot of things about you um with time they would just know things and um that's quite rare and that does not really happen like in just about every other connection another thing i'm sensing is that this person is going to feel a strange sense of calmness and tranquility with you there's something about your presence in what it's going to do to this person it's quite calming and this person is going to fall in love with that feeling um and it, this feeling is quite addictive even when i'm talking about it because my guides are saying that this person even when this person is going to hold your hand or when they're going to be present with you they're going to experience a sense of 
you can call it a sense of bliss or just calmness and it's so like it's so addictive in a way and this person is really gonna fall in love that fall in love with that feeling and they're gonna know that it's you because of whom they're experiencing it i'm also sensing that you might have your um ups and downs in the relationship but one thing really beautiful about your connection is that your connection is going to be quite consistent so you're never going to take breaks from this person you're never going to be on a break or like um you're never going to have a falling apart with this person and and even more encouraging or should i say a more beautiful thing about your connection is that with every single moment passing by you will realize more and more um things about this connection and about this person as well and it's going to make this connection even stronger on all the levels and um that's what's going to keep this connection consistent there's so many messages that i'm hearing um but i will have to finish the part right here yes and you're going to meet up with this person either th- through a friend or it's going to be in a place where like it's not going to be online okay that's not what i'm sensing this person certainly is not like they don't live close to you there is distance between you and this person and this person is traveling towards you they might have a prominent water sign somewhere prominently placed sorry they might have a water sign somewhere prominently placed um yeah so with that being said um there's something about the number 3 3 and 9 as well so i'm going to finish off this part right here if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me which is catered to your own needs your own requirements and your own situation then you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again for watching hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time okay so if you chose in the option of a second then these are the cards i have for you Um I have the magician page of pentacles queen of wands knight of wands then we have death queen of swords seven of pentacles the hierophant the devil and last we've got the five of swords for you guys so for the signs I'm sensing somebody could be an aries somebody could also be a capricorn scorpio then we also have um somebody's moon sign specifically could be in a fire sign that would be aries leo sagittarius somebody could also be a gemini um yeah and somebody could also be a capricorn i think i already said that so that's all that i'm sensing for the signs or see what do we have for the messages in regards to um how is your future spouse going to treat you and what is their love language going to be so i'm going to be talking about these this topic in detail and i'm going to be um talking about all of the messages that i'm going to be receiving from my guys in regards to this and around this topic so let's see what do we get the very first thing i'm sensing is that you're going to meet up with your person um in a very um at a time in your life when you would be requiring something or you'd be needing something i feel like it's going to be an assistance of some kind maybe financial assistance maybe this person is going to lend you money now if it's not this person specifically then i would say that you're going to be um focusing on your pentacles around the time when you're going to meet up with your future spouse that's kind of what i'm sensing very strongly and i feel like your person is going to show you affection and care more with their actions rather than their words i feel like that's going to be kind of this person's way of showing their care towards you yeah and i'm also sensing that this person is going to take full responsibility for you and that's another way that this person is going to show their um concern and their affection towards you this person is like um I feel like this person is always going to be giving and like 
doing things for you, bringing stuff for you. That's kind of what I'm sensing. Maybe like giving you gifts, um, doing things for you, like surprising you, um, arranging something for you, always trying to do something for you. I don't know why I feel like this person is always going to be doing a lot. That's kind of what I'm sensing. Yes, definitely. Somebody has really dark eyes. However, I feel like when it comes to you, um, in this connection, this person is going to be quite reserved. This person is not going to talk about you or this connection to anybody. And um, I feel like this person is going to have an earth sign somewhere prominently placed because that's how this person uh, person's attitude does feel. They're going to be very secretive. Now, a lot of people are private about their love life, but this person is a bit... A bit extreme on that aspect. Every this person is going to be a closed book. Whenever people are going to ask this person about you, I feel like this person would not prefer to talk about you. I don't exactly know why. Maybe they don't want to give details. Maybe they don't want to share like the connection with anyone. They kind of want it all to themselves. It's very sacred for them. Love in you um their love for you and the connection whatever they have with you it's really sacred and that's why this person does not want it to be so open to everyone and the reason why they don't want it to be like that is because this person is a bit fearful i feel they have a bit of fears and like um yeah i feel like this person feels deep down or they do fear deep down that if they do reveal stuff about the connection or like things and it just becomes open then it might get corroded it might get affected and like um it might become impure in a way because people are going to meddle in and they're going to ruin this precious thing that this person has got so even if this person does say to you or not that it's precious the connection and you are precious for this person um, even if they do say it or not, just observe their actions and you would feel um, a lot of things which, which this person might not even express through words. I'm also getting that this person is going to have really deep and dark desires for you. We have the devil card right there, but I'm not saying it because of the devil card only. I, um, I got this kind of like an image. But it was kind of blurry, I'm not going to lie. But I saw somebody's eyes and they were really dark, almost filled with passion and so much desire. Um, it's, it was really intense and I don't know who was this, but if this is your person, obviously that's kind of what it feels like. Um, then I saw the devil card and it didn't make sense. Although I didn't know what they were implying or like directing towards. But the devil is just another confirmation. So this person is going to have really deep and dark desires for you. Um, since the time they meet up with you. It's not going to be like they need to um, get close to you and then they're going to daydream about. No. I feel like it's going to be from the very first time that they encounter you. Um, something's going to boil within this person i don't know why i'm hearing the word boil i don't know okay never mind maybe the intensity is going to be going to be so intense um the passion is going to be so profound that um yeah they're making me use the word boil so yeah you figure i don't know so i'm i'm i can see a cake over here if he's like a birthday cake and a very big one, like a really big birthday cake. I don't know, is somebody's birthday on the 6th of a month or the 1st? I'm also hearing the 10th. So maybe these are like important dates. Or maybe you're going to meet up with this person um, on one of these dates. And maybe you will attend somebody's birthday party or something like that or maybe you'll go to an event of some kind that might happen as well i'm hearing october very clearly something might take place in the month of october 
this person is i'm also sensing they're really fond of cooking or they're really good at that and i feel like this person is gonna be um like cooking for you or like yeah doing you know as i said they're gonna be giving you a lot of things doing a lot of things for you and that's kind of what their language is like their love language is that's kind of like um the way they show their affection towards you that's kind of what i'm sensing this person is always going to be serving you in a way that's the best way i can explain it um somebody could be a libra over here um somebody's might somebody's name might start with an a i'm also getting the number seven there's something significant about that um somebody's name might also start with um let me see I'm getting a K, L, and then you also have, that's all that I'm sensing. Okay, I'm getting really um, precise messages for this one. I would also say, there's something about the number seven, it keeps coming back to me, and I'm hearing the word spiral. There's something about spiral. Maybe we'll go to a place where there's like, you know those kind of stairs, that staircase, the spiraled staircase? And it's so, like, you can see it. Like, it's, you can see um, below the staircase, like, from the top, when you're at the top. Um, that's kind of what I'm sensing. Like, somebody's at the top, and they are looking down. And it's like a spiral. That's the vision that I'm, I just got. So maybe you are, you're going to attend a... I don't know. You're just going to go somewhere. I don't know what this is. Yeah. So it's really like you're really up there. I don't know if you. Yeah. So that's kind of what I'm sensing. And. Um, okay. Let me see what else is here. I'm also sensing that when this person and you are going to start dating in the beginning and even before you guys start dating, there's going to be this period, or should I say even after you start dating, this this is going to still be there. But this person has this tendency of always trying to impress you. They will do things to impress you. They want to do that. That's what they like to do. That's what they want to do. Um... In the beginning, they'll do it. Even afterwards, they're going to do it. So they will keep doing things. It's quite sweet. Do not like um, think too much about this. This is just a sweet gesture. That this person is going to um, present towards you every now and then. Um, that's kind of what I'm sensing. Yeah, that's kind of like a part of this person's personality. I'm getting I'm also hearing the word quintessential. And, um, okay. I'm also getting somebody has a crooked smile. Yes. And, Now, I'm also getting an, um, another message, and this is quite interesting. So, I'm hearing that the time when you're going to meet up with this person, it's not going to be like all of your problems or all the things are going to be um, solved or like everything's going to be smooth sailing. No, it's not that. Right before, okay, so before this person is going to be present in our life, I feel like you're going to be... Um, dealing with a lot of things, a lot of different sorts of people, different sorts of situations, and things might get onto your nerves every now and then. And you might lose your temper, you might lose your calm every now and then. But I feel like after this person is going to enter your life, somehow, some way or the other, everything is going to be manageable. Everything is going to be lovelier i'm hearing and everything is going to feel like you will be caught up in this whirlwind 
world went of romance and somehow all the things that existed before now again i do want to clarify all the things that existed before the irritating people the annoying circumstances and all the things that kind of like make you um irritable you know and annoyed with life and life in general those things are still going to be there everything is going to be exactly the same but somehow everything is going to feel upside down like you're in a different you're in a totally different world and it's just something you will know after experiencing um again i'm hearing the number 6 very significant number 6 is very significant maybe something's going to happen around 6 o'clock or something is going to take place on the 6th of a month um yeah now again if you meet up with this person on the 15th of a month then you can just add up the digits and like it equals to 6 so that's kind of like i just wanted to clarify that um yeah but this person when they're going to come into your life it's like everything is going to feel different but nothing really is going to be different but just the way this person and this connection is going to be that's going to make all of the difference yeah and you know it's going to be one of those beautiful love stories where when you fall in love like okay this is the best way i can explain this um this kind of the vibe that i'm sensing you know when you fall in love with someone and everything starts to feel like everything around you lights up and you're always smiling you're always in a good mood and you're doing good to people you're being so kind and like just every single little thing feels good every moment of the day every time you wake up and you go to sleep every l- song you listen to it just feels so good and it just gets you like feeling so excited and just you're just in love with life that's what this person is going to do they're going to make you fall in love with your life that's how that's how it feels yeah okay it's like everything would be easier than ever but nothing is going to really change that's the tricky part yeah and i feel like there might be some issues in the beginning or maybe in the initial stages of your connection and the issues that i'm sensing are like I feel like you both are going to be a bit different and sometimes sometimes I'm going to emphasize your thinking or the way you analyze situations might not really coincide or might not really align and that could be one of the reasons why it might induce any sort of stress or any sort of tension in the environment but I feel like those are the moments those are the real moments when you would get to see how patient this person is with you how slow this person is with you they would not care if it requires a longest time to get to know you to solve a situation and to figure things out with you because they want to do it only with you so it's only in the hard times that you get to see the truth about people and it's so interesting that this person is going to be very um eager to get to know you and to sort things out even if there if there is a problem this person is going to like if you observe this person's behavior in the way they're going to behave with you it's going to be quite endearing i feel yes and uh, let's see what else is here because it's kind of like this person has found the treasure that's how they're going to feel and they would never ever do anything to let that go even if if you're going to have your guard up or if you're going to be defensive or if you're going to get hurt in the hurt in the beginning 
like unintentionally sometimes we do get hurt um in those scenarios this person is going to be so careful with you so um cautious they would be using every single word so carefully i like how not just calm and patient but also very like their words are going to feel like they're caressing you and that's what i love about this person yes and please don't be in the comments like it's not going to happen or anything like that you are the one creating your reality so if you accept it um that's what's going to come about even better like whatever i'm describing that's probably nothing you're going to get even much more beautiful things in life but yeah so just don't be bitter for yourself that's not going to do me any harm it's going to yeah so just getting that out of the way because i don't want to ruin the vibe that i'm in so let's go back in um yeah in in the moments when i don't even know how many moments are going to be there of this kind but you know when you have a conflict with someone and it just elevates to a point where you don't want to engage in any um discourse of any kind i feel like even in those moments even in those circumstances this person even if you want to leave um this person is going to be really attentive and they would be so mature in the way they handle you and handle the situation it is quite um it's quite amazing i don't know if there's like an age difference between you and this person but it feels like this person has experienced more things maybe this person's not this way with all the other people maybe they're just like this with you um they really want to have a stable fulfilling marriage with you yes that's kind of what this person is aiming for that's what this person wants deep down yeah and um i'm also sensing that this person's emotions and the way they um are going to act towards other people those people might not be like i feel like this person keeps things hidden um they might not reveal everything they don't reveal anything to be honest as i said this person is very secretive um and the person that you're going to marry your future spouse if you feel like you've already met this person you're deeply mistaken i'm sorry you have not if you've chosen this pile you have not met your person now again i it's a general reading so i cannot say for every single one of you but my guides are making me say this this is a message maybe somebody in specific needs to hear it maybe somebody is thinking that somebody from the past or somebody in the on their mind is probably their future spouse no they're not there's somebody else out there somebody you don't even know who's a complete stranger to you right now but this person is going to come and you just don't know about this person yet it's hidden you're getting a little bit of like cues from the universe through tarot readers and through your own guides and angels through your own dreams your own intuition but that's all you're not going to know like solid facts about this person yet only loose details and that's you that's what you should know so that's kind of what i'm sensing um i feel like you're going to be very surprised when you meet up with your person you're going to be quite um charmed by this person as well and the, like the way i said charmed it's kind of like it's not that just you are going to be the one that this person is going to be swooning over I feel like it's going to be both ways. This person is going to be very attracted to you, but I feel like the magic is going to be on your end as well. 
you're gonna be really um charmed by this person as well it's kind of like about this person's aura in their presence um i literally heard it's going to be as if somebody put a spell on you so maybe if you have not experienced anything of this kind yet if you've never felt it's like i don't think you have felt this attracted to somebody up to this point even if you have this is just there's just a different level of attraction so i'm gonna finish all this part right here if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind that this is a general reading and um yeah so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me um you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again for watching hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time Okay, so if you've chosen the option for third or the last group, these are the cards I have for you. I have the Ten of Swords, then we have King of Wands, Eight of Swords, Five of Wands, the Lovers, the Empress, Four of Cups, then we have Five of Swords, the Tower, and lastly we've got the Ace of Wands for you guys. So, um, for the signs, I'm sensing somebody could be a Sagittarius, somebody could also have their Moon sign in... A fire sign that would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody could also be a Cancer. I'm also sensing um, somebody could be a Gemini, and somebody could also be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So that's all that I'm sensing for the signs. Now let's see what do we have for the messages in regards to how is your future spouse going to treat you, and what's going to be their love language. So I'm going to be talking about all of the details that I'm going to get from my guides in regards to this topic and everything else around it. So let's see what do we get. I'm sensing uh, right off the bat that your person is going to be really romantic. There's something like... Um, I, I don't think this person has that playful side to them. It's kind of more so like deep. Like this person is quite romantic and deep in nature. That's why I'm sensing. Um, again, I'm getting a word sign vibe. But it's so interesting. This whole reading has been so fun. Even the first pile, the second pile, the third pile. Every single pile has its own vibe and its own magic. Um yeah it's it's been literally wonderful but speaking about your person your person is quite romantic and your person when they're going to meet up with you they're gonna re they're gonna unite with you. i don't know why was i gonna say reunite um but i feel like your person is a new person but moving on from that um when your person is gonna meet up with you when they're gonna have you in their life there is something about this connection that is never going to leave this person's mind they're always going to be thinking about you always you're going to be on their mind all the time they're always going to be thinking about you all the memories they've spent with you um that's kind of what i'm sensing this person might not say a lot and I'm also hearing this person is not going to brag about their love. You know, when people start to fall in love, when they start to develop feelings. Um, I mean, a lot of people are like very closed off and reserved and they don't really like to discuss or speak or express about what they're feeling towards the other person. But sometimes people express and they do it in a very exaggerated sort of manner. If you have experienced it, Please comment down below. I really want to know. With this person, th this person is going to kind of downplay it. Um, not because they are playing mind games or like they're trying to be manipulative in some way or the other. But it's just that this person is going to not express every single thing. But this person is going to be thinking about you all the time. That's kind of what I'm sensing. And they're not going to be bragging about how crazy they are for you or like how much they're in love with you that's not this person's vibe at all like that's not um yeah and it's kind of like you can see it on this person's face like if you observe this person very well um yeah you wouldn't have to ask this person i'm also getting somebody has a mark on their hand or on some like somebody has a mark on either it's their hand or it's 
their arm somewhere yeah that's kind of what i'm sensing if it's not a mark it's going to be a tattoo that this person has a very sculpted face structure somebody has like you can literally see the bone structure like the jaw really sharp the cheekbones and everything i feel like quite defined yes and when i said this person is going to be romantic this is the kind of a person who would probably um compliment you a lot who would do all those old-fashioned old school things um yeah this person is going to be quite old school um they're gonna be like yeah um like praising you in ways which is going to be really poetic yeah you know those kind of stuff so it's going to be really sweet okay let me see what else this person is going to respect you a lot they're going to be very respectful towards you they're going to be very um like they're never going to be out of line if that makes any sense you know they're never never going to be like outspoken or um harsh i just feel this gentle vibe from this person and they're going to be so respectful yeah i mean you know it's going to be kind of like that kind of love where other people when they look at you they're always going to be like oh they're always in love or they're always so cheesy and sometimes people kind of like think it's too much and like it's boring or i don't know make, people kind of make fun of it but your connection with this person is going to be very sweet very loving and kind of like that and i feel like when it comes to your personalities and the way you both are you're really different from your person quite a lot different and i feel like you're going to meet up with your person i'm hearing soon for some of you um and this is a new individual i don't think it's somebody from the past maybe this person could be from your past life but certainly not from the past that's kind of what i'm sensing and i can also see somebody getting like tired of the dating game and like the um whole dating thing relationships and stuff in general is like you just want to be with somebody and have something stable long term and that's it that's what i'm sensing your person in the way their face is they kind of look really calm and always really collected and observant of their surroundings and very patient as well yes i feel like they really do give off a different vibe from that of you um you on the other hand seem quite fiery quite on the go um a bit chirpy that's kind of what i'm sensing so there are differences certainly yes and i also do feel like there's going to be an age gap between you and this person as well however everything is going to be complimentary even if you do not feel that way in the beginning as well i feel like you're going to feel because with the lovers card i feel like right from the start when you meet up with that person um everything seems to fit and you just feel it's absolutely perfect the situation is perfect the person is perfect and everything is perfect the connection and everything but um even if some things might seem to be um like not so suitable that's also going to be working out in your favor and that's also going to be quite that's also going to serve you in this connection um yes
okay and what else is here I'm also sensing that you are the kind of person who wants to keep your relationship quite private and um, I'm sensing this about you you're not gonna want to reveal because this person okay this person is going to be quite special to you and you will not talk about this person to your friends like if you have a lot of friends or if you have like i don't know people who are probably close to you or even if they're not i don't really think you will tell those people about this person like really soon i don't think so i feel like you're going to keep it to yourself yes and let me see somebody's name might start with an m i'm also getting a c an s a d and i'm also getting an e yeah an h so those could be your first name and last name initials or your persons that's why i'm sensing okay i feel like you both have gone through something and you both are kind of healing from something as well or moving on from something your person is coming into your life and they are bringing in a lot of new things so when i say new things it's kind of like you're leaving your old life behind and moving into something new and the same goes for this person as well so you might be feeling a big shift happening as well you might be hearing you're about to enter the new chapter of your life and um yeah there's an ending and a new beginning so those things you might be coming across more often these days or the time when you're going to meet up with a person that's kind of what i'm sensing yes this person is coming again i'm hearing they're coming even if you are at the rock bottom or if you just come out of that sort of phase even if it's been really hard for you even if you feel hopeless even if you feel whatever way this person is coming and they're coming in quickly although it's a general reading so i can't really be very specific on the time frame and this reading is not about that but this message i'm hearing this person is coming in quickly so yes i would say be excited now again if you are manifesting if you have asked the universe um you've been specific about the kind of a person you want the kind of a relationship you want to be in um if you have not done that what are you doing you should do it another thing i'm sensing over here is that um if you are manifesting if you have not i don't know what you're doing you should um but if you are manifesting um it's going to be very on point and it's going to be exactly how you have put it how you've asked from the universe so that's for that and i see somebody is quite intuitive over here quite intuitive and quite i even want to say psychic maybe somebody is psychic or you are in uh, contact with a psychic so that's also for some of you somebody could also be an air sign very good with words i feel i'm also sensing that your person i do not really get if your person is good with words but i would say that i i kind of am getting for you that you're good with words and you're really clear in your communication and how you speak to people but i feel like for this person even if they are good with words or not there is something about this person that they're never going to feel to express how they feel for you they're never going to feel in that because i feel like it's this person's expressions and the way they are going to be with you and the way they're going to make you feel i feel like it would always be very clear for you how this person feels and how this person is with you um so that's kind of what i'm sensing for you guys that um 
yeah even if you are really good with words and this person is not going to express everything in words very clearly you're still going to know everything like how this person feels and stuff like that i'm sorry yeah so that's kind of what i'm sensing and let's see what else is here okay i feel like you're going to meet up with this person at a time when either you'll be traveling or you'll be planning to travel somewhere or in the upcoming two to three months for some of you or when you're going to be um okay so i see somebody making a really big plan for their life like long-term plan and when when you're going to be um like moving according to this plan or should i say implementing it that's when you're going to meet up with this person that's kind of what i'm sensing sorry i don't know why i keep doing that i'm really sorry um again there is something about night time i see you talking to one person over here i don't know who this person is um okay now for those of you who are intuitive or who don't have a problem in listening to their intuition and why i say that is because oftentimes we doubt ourselves we don't listen to our intuition well and um yeah we don't really trust ourselves enough so i'm speaking to those who have a guide around them i can see a guide there is a guide around you and this guide or this angel they're always guiding you towards your person even if you do not realize it um but you're going to feel it even more in the upcoming three months if you do not meet up with your person in the upcoming three months you will realize that your guides are literally making it very clear and guiding you towards your person and they're with you on every single step so that's kind of what i'm sensing yes let me see what else is here again you are going to be on this person's mind all the time that's that's like very clear very specific and this person's feelings are going to be never on and off that's that's like the last thing you should expect in this connection in fact this person's feelings are always going to be growing and they're always going to be stable and always consistent so um i feel like with this person all of your if you, even if you do do have like insecurities and stuff they're all going to be dissolved with this person you see that ace of wands right there um and then we have the four of cups underneath it it is symbolic of this fire that this that this connection is going to ignite within this person's head and they're not going to be able to stop themselves from thinking about you that's kind of what i'm sensing in the four is a very um stable should i say a very consistent and promising number and at last i have two marriage cards or oh, let me see yeah i do have two marriage cards um this person i don't see um their pentacles or like how rich this person is but your married life is going to be quite prosperous quite um it's kind of like you're going to be financially abundant and you will not worry about that you're not worry about money and it's going to be quite strong your connection nobody's going to be able to come between you and this person that's not going to happen and it's kind of like i'm hearing you're going to get what you deserve i'm hearing for somebody so maybe somebody has always gotten the relationships which have been like the people that have wronged you relationships which have made you feel less um connections where you felt broken you felt um like not important not loved i feel like that's you're going to get what you deserve somebody could be a libra over here and um yeah so if you are planning on getting married i see two marriage cards and yeah this is quite promising
again something about something about probably the month of november or december when you might meet up with this person yes um i'm also getting like a social gathering of some kind a social event this person is going to make you feel like okay this is the best way i can explain um you know when you start dating someone they're kind of taking you lightly they're kind of like um not really giving you that um priority or like that level of um care and affection and importance that you would give to somebody if you were married to that person you know there's always that striking difference but there's something very beautiful about your person and the way they're going to treat you when they're going to meet up with you something is going to click so strongly not just in this person's head but in your head as well it's going to be mutual and but for this person they're saying it's very very clear and something is going to click and something is going to be bound for life for eternity and this person is not going to be able to like do anything about it you will not be able to do anything about it it's done so yeah um i'm hearing the seal is tied you see this lovers card right there it's kind of like you will be attached to this person kind of like this card the seal is tied now you cannot do anything about it so when you meet up with this person this person is going to treat you like as if they're married to you and not in like a bad way i don't know just don't think anything bad but like they would give you that level of respect they would give you that level of importance that level of because when we're dating someone and we don't know that person very well we don't really give that person that much importance we don't give that person that much um love and even don't keep that person as a priority that's just the truth um it's only after the relationship gets deeper and deeper and that person has been with us through thick and thin that we do realize how much this person means to us and then we are ready to spend our lives with that person this person is going to be sure about you pretty quickly and um yeah it's kind of like the knot will be tied between you and this person um even if it's not going to happen in the physical world yet but something about you just meeting up with this person it's yeah it's just crazy the level of devotion the level of um how do i put it i don't know what's the best word but this person is going to be very um devoted to you that's the like it's kind of like they're bound to you but bound does not feel good <laughs> i don't know i hope you get what i'm trying to say so i'm going to finish all this part right here if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again for watching hope you all have a lovely day Bye see you guys next time